friends, good afternoon. Welcome to our read aloud for Monday, April 27th. We're reading a familiar book. If you've seen the read aloud last week, then you would have um, listened to the first time I read this book. And today is our second time reading this book. And we're going to read the book Bounce. And it is written by Doreen Cronin and Scott Minchin. So Bounce, do you guys remember this book? Do you remember what this book was about? Tell me what, if you remember listening to this story, tell me some things that you remember about this book. Yes, good job. There was something in here about um, jumping in the rain puddles. Yes, jumping in the rain puddles or bouncing in the rain puddles with your rain boots on. Awesome job. Um, what other balls do you remember um, that we saw in the book that I read about in the book? There's a black and white ball that I read about in the book that it talked about bouncing the ball off your toes. What kind of ball was that? A soccer ball. Good job. Awesome job. So we're going to read this again. And remember as we go through, if there's anything in the book that you can mimic or do like the characters in the book are doing, then you can do that. So if you're bouncing like a bunny or if you're hopping or bouncing like a frog, any of those kind of things, um, be sure to do them just to get your body moving and get some activity going as well, okay? All right, so Bats by Doreen Cronin and Scott Minchin. Come on, let's bounce like a bunny. Hip, hop, hip, hop. Hopping all around like a bunny. Hop, hop, hop. What other animals hop around? There's one animal that hops around that has a pouch in the front of its body. A kangaroo. Good job. Let's bounce like a frog. Ker plop, ker plop. Bounce like a frog. Can you get down um, like a frog does? Ribbit, ribbit around. I'll bounce to the left. <clears throat> this is Miss Robin's left hand. And you'll bounce to the right. This is my right hand. Bees bounce in the daytime. <clears throat> and what animal bounces at night? Bats. Yes, they are nocturnal animals. They are awake during the nighttime and sleep during the day. You can bounce a ball right off your hand or bounce it off your toes. That volleyball over here bounces off hands and the soccer ball bounces off toes. I can bounce a beach ball on the tip of my nose. Can you? If you have a beach ball, why don't you try that? Try to bounce it off your nose. See if you can. Why do you think he can bounce it off his nose? Is the beach ball light or is it heavy? And if you don't have one, that's okay. You can still take a guess on that beach ball. Is it light or is it heavy? Think about that question. Is it light or heavy? If you bounce into a puddle, it's best to bounce in boots. Yeah, why do you think it's best to bounce in rain puddles with boots on? Yep, so you don't get all wet. If you must bounce in the market, it's it's best not to <clears throat> excuse me bounce in fruits. <clears throat> don't bounce near all those fruits piled up. I don't think a lot of stores pile fruits up too much nowadays. Bouncing with your best friend is called a bouncing double. Bouncing on the couch is called big bouncing trouble. Him and his best friend were bouncing on the couch and they bounced off. Kind of fail. It's hard to bounce in roller skates. It's fun to bounce on poles. Why is it hard to bounce in roller skates? You see him? Can you really jump on on wheels? Yeah, roller skates have wheels. It's kind of hard to jump on wheels because wheels are round and they move. Yeah, you can get hurt. So don't bounce in roller skates. If hippos bounce from place to place, Imagine all the holes. 
Hippos are heavy animals and they're making holes when they bounce. If bouncing in the sun gets hot, bounce back into the shade. There's that kangaroo we talked about. If bouncing makes you thirsty, bounce yourself to lemonade. I love lemonade. Raise your hand if you like lemonade. And raise your hand if you like Chick-fil-A's lemonade. Miss Robbins didn't raise her hand. It's kind of a little too tart for me. But lots of people like Chick-fil-A's lemonade. A bounce can turn into a bump, a bump into a fall. No jumping on the, what's he jumping on down there? Oh, let me move my finger this one. Move my hand up away so you can see. It's bouncing on the bed. No bouncing and jumping on the bed. But it's better to have bounced and bumped than never to have bounced at all. Look at him, he had a good old time. Bouncing and bumping and jumping all around. Such fun, it's so fun to bounce and jump around. That was such a quick and short book, but it's such a fun book to bounce and jump and hop and burn some of that energy off and have a good time doing it. That's the best part about this book is we learn how to have a good time bouncing and jumping and doing things that we like to do and remembering to be careful while we're doing it. Good job using your listening ears today, friends. You are so awesome. Miss Robbins is so proud of you and she looks forward to seeing you on the next Read Aloud and um, next videos.